Let's test the Python microbit editor and make sure you can use it to load Python scripts into your microbit. The editor works in either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Here we are using Google Chrome, but you can use either one. Start by navigating to python.microbit.org slash v slash 3. If this is your browser's first time to the site, it might ask about cookies. Unlike many sites, none of the choices here involve sharing your personal data, so there's no wrong answer. You might also see a welcome screen with a short video you can watch, or just click the Start Coding button. Between the two sidebars is a text editor with a default script you can use to test your microbit. To see what the script will make the microbit do, click the Simulators Run button. It shows that this script will make the microbit display a heart and then scroll a hello text message across its LED matrix display. To make the microbit run this script, click Send to Microbit. It'll prompt you to connect your microbit to your computer, like this. After connecting your microbit and clicking Next, it'll tell you about what to do in the next pop-up, which will be to choose your microbit by clicking here and then clicking the Connect button. So let's click Next, and here's the pop-up where you have to choose your microbit and then click Connect. You'll see the progress as the editor flashes the script into the microbit and then it displays this microbit flashed message. The name flash comes from the kind of memory the microbit uses to store a script, which is like the memory in a USB flash drive. At this point, your microbit should be displaying the same graphic and message that the simulation showed, but on its actual LED matrix display. Making the microbit do something different is easy. Just change the script and flash it into the microbit. For example, you can change image.heart to something else, like maybe image. Let's, let's try happy. And you can also change the scrolling text, for example, instead of hello, it could be hi. Optionally, click the play button on the simulator to see what it will do again. And then click send to microbit. Then check your microbit to make sure it's displaying what you expect.